Alpha Pals is a large and powerful variant akin to like bosses in the game. Alpha Pals stand out due to their size and strength. Players will have the opportunity to capture these alphas, which is going to be adding a whole realm of challenging and massive reward to the gameplay aspect. And you're going to have your Lucky Pals. This type of pal is characterized by a shining appearance, setting them apart from regular pals, but there will be a unique visual distinction, which will be able to easily tell, which will suggest that they have a special significance. They are very rare and considered to be very strong compared to the regular pals. This implies that they have a much superior fighting ability and stats, making them very much of an attractive catch. So if you ever find them, grab them, and you'll sometimes find that uh, Lucky Pals will be a little bit larger than their other counterparts. This combined with their glowing appearance should definitely make them stand out. In terms of their abilities, there's nothing sort of specific I can give you just yet, but they're just going to be bigger, better, and that's you definitely want to keep an eye out for them. And third and finally, so the Fusion Pals. But before we go into the Fusion Pals, it's going to be very helpful to understand that they're there are nine different element types of pals, and we're just going to go through those, then we'll come back to fusion and breeding. And that's because understanding the elements and how they impact pal world kind of instrumental to then understanding breeding and the purpose for breeding. Okay, so you might be wondering what kind of different types or element types are there in pal world? Well, there's the fire. Pals with the fire element can heat, heat campfires, cook in pots, and operate industrial ovens. Name some of the things they can do. The electricity types, these pals can power on generators which will help fuel your economy of your base, your production lines. So you can start to see here how we're going to be needing certain different pals to construct our own cities, our own buildings, if you will. Then there's the dragon type. The exact abilities of dragon element pals are still not yet specified to my knowledge, but they are likely to possess unique and powerful traits. Then we'll have the grass sort of type. We'll have specific abilities that aren't exactly detailed again yet, but I definitely think these will be more leaning towards like your preferred gardeners or growers or healers or farmers. There is a natural element as well, which will again have affinity with uh, the natural environment. Still not 100% sure how that's going to work, but again, it will have its own use cases. Then we're going to have earth element. The earth element pals might have the abilities, break rocks, move them, and possibly also help with the farming process. Then we have pals with the water element. Water element pals can manage tasks like involving watering plants, and I'm sure there's going to be other things. And then there's the dark elements. Not too sure exactly yet, but I'm guessing they'll have a unique and hidden ability and also apparently there's going to be a frost element as well but these elements are going to be really important because they are crucial to determine the specific roles and benefits each power can provide this would be you know such things as aiding in resource production or other specialized tasks keep in mind that each power can have up to two elements so for example you might have a fire and electric or dark and a dragon which really spices it up of the different variations and practicalities of powers now even though that you can have up to two element types the majority of the base powers you get are just going to have one a crossbreeding, which will come too soon. That's going to open the window up to be getting certain types that don't usually have two different element types to then have the application of having two different element types. This is where this is going to just be kind of brain numbing with all the possibilities because it's basically you'll be able to really fine tune what, what roles you want pals to fulfill. So with understanding the elements and how that is going to change how we use our pals to create, garden, farm, manufacture, build, get resources, then we can move on to one of the coolest probably aspects I think is going to be this fusion or aka breeding where your pals make a love in order to breed specific traits, abilities, potent powers and I'm sure there's more to it. Now there's some caveats to this. There's over 350 items. In a bit I'll go through what information we do have but it's limited so there's going to be a big aspect here that will probably rely on certain items helping within the breeding process or the fusion process. So something to keep in mind but basically let's just go over the fusion so fusion pals can be created by breeding two specific species or of pals together this process will combine their characteristics of the parent pals to create a new type of pal now i don't necessarily think it's going to change the appearance it might either be parent one or parent two but its stats and abilities and most importantly its element types will be changed it might have two element types which will make it much more dynamic in what it can do and how it can serve you. So there are types of fusion pals. It could either be an elemental pal, which will again presumably be which again will presumably inherit the combined element traits from its parents, or it could result in a completely different pal species. So this in itself could potentially mean, and this is where it gets a little bit dark, that perhaps certain scenarios will create a new type of pal. But whether it looks different or not is going to be the question we're going to have to find out closer to when we get to finding this information out. So how does it actually how do you actually breed pals? Well there's not a lot of 
of exact details, but what we know is that they can breed just by being next to each other. There'll be like a little animation that sort of tells us that they're breeding. And I'd maybe throw in a speculation here that they might be like breeding chambers for some of the more complex scenarios of maybe cross species, but that's to be confirmed. It's assumed that to get them to breed, they'll need to be quite happy, well fed, just the usual things that makes you want to breed, <laughs> I guess. Breeding system in Powerwell allows players to experiment with different combinations of pals to create fusion pals. But the important thing is it's going to inherit characteristics and I'm sure there's going to be the mix of throwing in items during the breeding process, which will then change and yield different results possibly. We'll have to wait and see on this one. But what we can certainly speculate on is that you want to get some of the most powerful pals in the game. I'm definitely thinking you're going to be looking for those alpha pals, breeding them with another alpha pal, making sure that they're at 100% happiness or 100% contentness because that apparently will impact as well some of the transfer of stats and abilities when pals are breeding. So while we're talking about uh, pals contentness, let's have a look at 